Good morning, good morning. Rise and grind. It's a little rough. You see your boy glistening. I just finished my run for today. Um, it's day 373. And if you're just joining in, that means this is the 373rd day straight that I've been running. Nothing crazy. I run at least one mile a day. And through the process, as I've shared before, I've lost a little over 50 pounds, which is a major accomplishment. You know, physically, I feel a lot better. Um, I'm jumping on this morning real quick with the sweat glistening. You know, this was kind of unplanned, but simply just to mention, I thought about a word momentum. We hear people use that word momentum a lot, you know, and I remember somebody sharing this real insightful brother, you know, but he was talking about momentum. And then he mentioned another word, impetus. When it comes to momentum, I'm comparing that to my journey, right? I lost over 50 pounds. I'm running every day. You know, things are starting to take place. I'm seeing shifts starting to happen. You know, the weight started to go down, but then what happens, it started to slow down a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm reaching that point where I'm starting to plateau just a little bit on my fitness journey. So that means, hey, it's, it's time to switch it up. And we use that word, or hear that word momentum a lot. You know, we're building up momentum. You may think about a sports team. Um, you may think about, I don't know, a moving train. You know, a train has um, momentum deals with, with two main things, which is mass and velocity. And if you're not familiar with the word velocity, all velocity is is speed and direction. Remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker, right? So if I say I'm going 100 miles per hour, that's my speed. If I say 100 miles per hour southeast, that's velocity. Okay, so momentum deals with mass and velocity. It's Those are the two components, mass and velocity. So the more mass something has, the more momentum. Okay, so if we're thinking about the things, whatever it is we're trying to do in life, you know, we may be hitting that streak. We feel like we, we may be unstoppable, but what happens is you may plateau in whatever you're working on. And when you plateau, what happens to your momentum? It starts to go down, it starts to decrease, it starts to weaken. And over time, you know what I mean? If you keep getting hit with those obstacles, that friction, that resistance, that opposition, your momentum is gonna keep dwindling down until you don't have any more momentum. And all momentum deals with really is just movement. As long as an object, as long as you're in motion, as long as I'm in motion, I have momentum, I have momentum. You know, whenever my speed changes, whenever I slow down, you know, my momentum is going down, you know? So impetus, that's a word you heard just a while ago, right? The difference between momentum and impetus, and I just have to touch on this, and, and it's no harm, no foul. I hear a lot of times people may speak or say, yeah, that momentum, and we gotta have momentum, we gotta keep going. But once again, when momentum hits that opposition, it's gonna go down, but impetus, impetus, I-M-P-E-T-U-S, impetus, it's that force that keeps you going no matter what. So instead of momentum not knocking the word, let's work on building up our impetus. It's what keeps us going. Momentum, if I was on a car going down a hill, right? That car is building momentum. It got that speed, it got that mass. It's going down that hill. But what happens when that road starts to level off? That momentum's gonna decrease. That speed is gonna decrease. And over time, that car could stop. Let alone, imagine that car going down the hill and then it starts to come back up. Now it has to deal with gravity and everything pulling it back. That momentum's gonna, that momentum's gonna die out. That vehicle's gonna stop and, and eventually stop moving. Nothing's taking place. So with impetus, think of impetus as that force that keeps you going. So when that car's going down the hill and it starts to hit that friction, it starts to go up, impetus is that gas pedal. So even when you're going uphill, whenever you're going against opposition, impetus is that force that keeps you going. So what is your impetus? My impetus is simply my rise and grind mentality when it comes to this fitness. It don't matter what I have to do, I'm running every day. I got a lot of stuff to do today, but guess what? I got an early shade, I'm a, I, I got my rise and grind, and I just finished my run, now I'm about to go take my shower. So my impetus is the consistency of doing what I'm doing every single day. Could I take a couple days off? Yes, I could, but I'm, I'm not gonna front, y'all. I'm scared. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna fall off. I don't want my momentum to dwindle down and decrease. So it's about me building up that impetus. It's about me developing that habit because once again, we can't, we can't improve a habit if, it, if we don't even have it. You know, we can't improve on anything if we don't even have a habit. So we have to establish that habit first. So my habit is running every single day. Do I do more? Yes. Push-ups, dumbbells, I get in the gym, whatever. You know, leg day, upper body day, arms. Yeah, I do all that. But even if I don't, 
I'm running every day. That's my impetus. So I want you all to define whatever it is you're trying to do today. I want you to define your impetus. Momentum, momentum. Oh, I'm getting too hyped. Momentum is good. It's cool. You know what I mean? It gets things done. It gets you going. But impetus is what keeps you going. Impetus is that cruise control in your car. So when you go through those hills, up goes up, goes down, the road curves, whatever, it keeps you moving. What's your impetus? Go ahead and define it. Remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. Y'all have an amazing day.